Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. When I saw your face, I could feel my heart finishing a race so this love could start. Now you so here is how my hair look when it's dried without using the shingling method. Um, I usually use the breaking method which means that I put conditioner, leave-in conditioner, gel, whatever in my hair and I just rake my fingers through it like this to add definition. But as you saw in the beginning clip, this is not the same definition as I get with the shingling method. The reason why I like to use the shingling method is because it makes my curls super defined. My curls pop every single individual curl pops out and my hair just looks super defined and really curly the first step in doing the shingling method is that you need wet hair not damp hair not semi dry hair not semi wet hair you need wet hair because this is what makes it the curls really defined gel works much better with wet hair so i'm going to i don't have a spray bottle <laughs> Out of all things to have, I don't have a spray bottle. So I'm just gonna run my hair under the shower head really quick and I'll be right back. So I just wet my hair in the shower. Um, earlier to wash my hair, I used this Cream of Nature Mango Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Shampoo and also the Ultra Moisturizing Conditioner. I like to use a sulfate conditioner when I'm doing something like the shingling method because I am using gel. So I want to remove any products, I want to remove any residue because Eco Styler can really build up in this icky white residue left on the hair. So I always try to cleanse my hair thoroughly before I use Eco Styler. So I put it in the Ultra Moisturizing Conditioner to detangle my hair and also I left it in as a leave-in. So it's still in my hair now. Um, now I'm gonna section my hair all for, to show you guys how to shingle. Right there in your heart, so I'm so if you guys watch my YouTube videos, you know that you rarely see me using something to detangle my hair besides my hands. I rarely use combs or brushes to detangle my hair, but for the shingling method, you want really detangled and really defined curls. And I can't get that with my fingers. Some tangle still staying there, it doesn't really get as defined. So I'm going to be using my tangle teaser. So the first step, is to put some more conditioner in my hair. So I'm first going to detangle my, um, put conditioner in my hair and then I'm going to detangle with my fingers to make sure that I get out most of the tangles. And now I'm going to use my tangle teaser to get out the smaller tangles and this also helps to smooth my curls. My hair cannot have gotten this smooth and clump together with just my fingers. So as you can see, this tangle teaser creates like these cute little curls, which will be great, except this is gonna dry into a huge frizz ball, which I don't want. And we want our hair to be completely separated. The more clumped bit curls like this are, like this big of a section, the more prone it is to looking frizzy. So next I'm gonna take a leave-in conditioner and this is just for added moisture. I'm gonna be using my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Leave-in Conditioner. And actually you guys put me onto this. Um, you guys told me that you love this product so much, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. So I actually went to the store and bought it. So it's important to use a moisturizing leave-in conditioner or conditioner period before you use Eco Styler Gel because your hair can tend to be really, really crunchy and dried out if you just use Eco Styler. Eco Styler makes your hair smooth. It does not make it soft. It does not moisturize. So it's very important to moisturize first or else you'll be left with dry, crunchy hair. So next I'm using the Argan Oil Eco Styler. I'm gonna put it all over my hair from the roots to the ends. And then I'm going to take my tangle teaser again to smooth down the roots as much as possible because curly hair tends to be frizzy at the roots so I'm going to smooth those down as much as possible. Then I'm going to take a little bit more Eco Styler Gel and apply that all over and then I'm going to start the shingling method. And this means I just take 
each individual curl it's like strands of hair smooth it down and separate it from the rest take a single curl smooth it down and you can kind of feel where where the curls will start smooth it down curl smooth it down smooth it down and just continue that all throughout your hair. Some curls will be smaller than the others. Like here, this is a pretty small strand. So here I have dozens of little curls that have all been separated compared to this side, which is kind of frizzy and my curls are all mashed together. This really helps to cut down on tangles because you're separating the curls and curly hair tends to want to fuse together which creates tangles that are hard to get out when you're combing. When you have each curl separated on its own, it makes detangling so much easier. I hope you guys are getting in this analogy. It really, really helps to cut down on tangles and knots. It helps to shorten your detangling routine. It helps your hair to last a lot longer because it's less frizzy and it also is really defined. So I'm just going to continue this all throughout my hair. Don't be afraid to spray your hair or to wet it more. Your hair should be pretty close to dripping wet. Um, while you're doing the shingling method, my hair is getting a little dry and more so damp. So I'm just going to go to the shower and wet my hair a little bit. Now I have completely finished um, shingling my hair. And as you can see, I have thousands and thousands of probably not thousands and thousands, probably like hundreds of my hair and they are all completely separated. My hair looks really defined and it's not much frizz going on compared to normally if I just rake through my hair. My curls are just really defined and they're gonna just stay defined, especially these curls at the front. They are so defined and just really, really curly. Just like how I like it. So what I'm going to do is blow dry my hair. And if you watch my videos as well, you know that I usually just air dry. However, it is best to actually blow dry your hair to maintain that definition because when you let it air dry, um, it's more likely to get frizzy. Curls kind of like spread apart when they dry. I really want super, super defined curls because it just sets the curls in place immediately and it's less likely to frizz out. So now I'm going to blow dry. So this love could start now you're in my arms. I'm more so keeping the blow dryer pointed downwards so that my hair isn't blowing all around and getting frizzy. I could ever try to make me better like the way you do. Can't you see I'm standing? Can't you see I'm coming? Only go. So I just finished drying my hair. As you can see, my curls are crazy defined. So now I'm just going to use a pick and add volume. You are the greatest, you are the greatest love yeah, so I, I gotta tell you, you are the greatest, you are the greatest love, 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 and I can see I'm there, right there in your heart. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a great day. Bye.